Uh, let's talk about, now listen, I missed both Friday and Saturday this weekend. Um, uh, but let's talk about Friday night's game. I've been told by several people that it might be the best Comets game they've ever seen. Well, first off, you need to stay away from games more often for having that kind of Yeah, success. apparently. I do. <laughs> listen, just so you know, uh, my daughter had a big weekend in, in dance, and um, I'm learning a lot. I'm really learning a lot about <laughs> dance. And uh, these tournaments, uh, I don't think that's what they call them, but they're, they're long, and, um, and uh, my daughter did very well. So, uh, yeah, maybe I should stay away because you had a great weekend. <laughs> Yeah, well, first off, great to hear about your daughter. That's yeah. awesome. It's a lot of fun for her. Uh, not so much for you, but it is what it is. It is um, what it is, yes. <laughs> we played incredibly well. The game Friday night was just a total domination effort, top to bottom, shut out the highest-scoring team. It, and that's not something to take lightly. This Toronto yeah. Marley team is probably going to set the wins and points record. Right. Playing a 76-game schedule, when that record was set, when teams played an 80-game schedule. So it's really remarkable how well they shut down that historic team it's incredible they have 90 points so far this season and just to give you an idea that's through 60 games the closest team with them uh in points is uh hershey which has 78 so that's like six more wins i mean they're almost at 100 points with uh you know still what a month left in the season yeah, yeah. You know, there, there's two other stats that jump out of you. you know how well the comments were last year they were the second best team in the league yeah if, if that team woke up and played in the, this year's Comet spot, we'd be about 12 points behind Toronto still. Wow. 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 And yeah. and where do, where does this place us this year, right? I mean, we're we're going in we're in March now. Where where are we looking on the on the playoff picture? We have a we have a shot this year? Right now we're in. We have um I haven't looked at the stand yet. I think we have an 8-point margin on the next point team the next team behind us. So so we're sitting pretty right now. And, and, you know, listen, i got to tell you, the one thing about AHL hockey is it is very unpredictable. You never know when your parent club is going to need some help, and you never know when you lose uh, certain aspects of your team. Um, that can change things as you're going down. So just getting into the playoffs could mean an awful lot. It can change things positively and negatively. The second place yeah. team, the Albany Devils, the team we're trying to run down, uh, I believe we're now eight points behind them. Mm -hmm. They lost their starting goalie because the NHL goalie, Corey right. Schneider, hurt his groin. He's out long term. Like they're not even looking at him again for another two or three weeks. Wow. And hey, the, the season's winding down here. Albany Devils backup goalie is out for the year. Wow. They have to call up an ECHL goalie for the playoff run here. All right. Well, listen, this could be another exciting extension of the springtime here. I mean, uh, listen, it could happen. Uh, well, what a weekend this weekend. Uh, thanks for coming on, Mark. I appreciate it. No, no problem. Thanks for the call. Uh, big, big weekend for the Comets. And the Utica College hockey team ended up uh, losing, uh, falling short on Saturday at, uh, at Hobart. And that will pretty much end their season. We hope to talk to Gary Heenan coming up next hour. Uh, let's talk about this weather. St. Patrick's Day Parade coming up this weekend on Saturday. We're looking at warmer temperatures. We may be I'm looking for rain right now, but we might be up around 60 degrees at parade time. We'll see as the weekend gets closer. Currently, 48 the high today.